Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be solving an exponential equation. We have e to the power x equals ex and we're going to be solving for x values. I'm going to talk about two different approaches here. The first approach involves defining a function f of x as e to the power x minus ex. So since I'm trying to solve the equation e to the power x equals ex, if I set my f of x equal to 0, the x value that I find from here is going to be our solution, right? Okay. Now, as you know, you might have already guessed it, x equals 1 is a possible solution to this equation. Why? Because if you replace x with 1, we notice that f of 1 is equal to 0. All right, now, we're going to look at it uh, at a deeper level, and we're going to take the derivative. So let's go ahead and differentiate this function. The derivative of e to the power x, e to the power x is a very interesting function. e is the Euler's number, you know, it's very special. Its derivative is going to equal itself, and something or some constant times x, when you differentiate, is just going to be the constant. The rate of change of a linear function is basically its slope, in other words. Now let's go ahead and set the derivative equal to 0, and from here we're going to get e to the power x equals e, and we're going to be getting x equals 1. So x equals 1 is actually a critical point, which means the derivative may change from positive to negative or negative to positive at that point, which gives us a minimum or maximum. So let's go ahead and make a table of values. So my table is going to look like this. I'm going to have a row for x, a row for f prime, and another row for f. So the only critical value that makes the derivative 0 is x equals 1, so I'm going to place that here. This basically represents negative infinity, and this is going to be the positive infinity. So our values become larger from left to right. Okay, and then since 1 is a root, I can kind of put a little 0 there, indicating that x equals 1 makes the derivative 0. Now I need to determine whether the derivative is going to be positive or negative to the right and to the left of 1. So for that purpose, let's go ahead and take a look at it. We know that x equals 1 is a solution of the derivative. So what happens if x is greater than 1, right? So if x is greater than 1, obviously e to the power x is going to be greater than e. This means that e to the power x minus e is going to be positive. And if x is less than 1, then e to the power x is going to be less than e, which means that the difference is going to be less than 0. So this kind of tells us what's going to happen to the right and to the left. So if x is greater than 1, we have a positive derivative, otherwise a negative derivative. And at 1, the derivative is 0. Now, if the first derivative is negative, that means our function is, the original function f, is decreasing, and when the derivative is positive, it's increasing on that interval. So that gives us a minimum point at x equals 1. Now what is that supposed to mean? It means that the function is going to have a minimum and uh, at that point notice that f of 1 is 0 so we have the derivative, both the derivative and the function itself becoming 0 at x equals 1. And graphically this is what it means. We do have an x-intercept at 1, 0, which is indicated here in this graph, and that is the x-intercept as well as the minimum, which means that the only solution, the only x-intercept for this graph is going to occur at x equals 1, so x equals 1 is the only solution. All right? So let's take a look at this problem uh, from another perspective. And that perspective is basically going to be looking at these two functions separately. So we're going to be looking at y equals e to the power x and y equals ex. Now the first one is an exponential function. I'm going to show you a graph at the end as well. But if you differentiate this function, you're going to notice that its derivative is itself. And then if you differentiate the second function, then we're going to be getting the slope of this line. So e to the power x and e. Those are the derivatives. Now. We notice that x equals 1 is a solution, right, because it makes both of these equations uh, e. So that is a solution. And what happens with the derivatives, right? At x equals 1, you have the y prime being equal to e. And here, y prime is also equal to e because it's always e. It is constant. 
So we have a situation where these two functions have the same value at their first derivative at the same point, which means that they have a common tangent. But guess what? One of the graphs is a linear function. Therefore, it is the tangent line itself, which means that y equals ex is going to be tangent to y equals e to the power x at x equals 1, which means that they're only going to have one intersection point, and that is going to be the solution. Therefore, as before, x equals 1 is the only solution. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to, com don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.